Hello, welcome to another tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use leaf map to query raster pixel values interactively. And you can also save the um, pixel values directly to your computer. So this can be useful if you try to create some training data, you use satellite images, you want to uh, create training data for your machine learning. And so this is the latest tutorial I just added to leaf map. If you go to leafmap.org and then um, Scroll down to find number 90, pixel inspector. And there are two ways you can run this one. You can either open in Google Colab or uh, Studio Lab or Binder. Or you can also download this one to a computer if you know how to set it up on your computer. So I've downloaded this one to my computer and I have installed the dependencies. So now I'm going to go through these uh, sections. And so the interactive uh, pixel inspector built on top of a couple of open source packages and it allows you to visualize different types of uh, raster data for example club optimized geotiff spatial temporal asset catalog and you can even do a uh, cloud uh, computing for example uh, planning three computer lastly you can also visualize data stored locally either uh, any raster data set geotiff also in memory raster so you have to do some calculation you want to visualize the uh, intermediate results uh, you can do it as well and so the cloud optimized geotiff and uh, stack uh, and also plenty to the computer built on top of uh, t tyler or local raster uh, is built on top of a uh, local type server so thanks to these two packages this may, uh, makes it easier for you to visualize data interactively so this input these two libraries uh, the leaf map is for doing visualization raster io is used to uh, do some uh, analysis and some calculation and the first example is using cloud optimized geotiff so this is a sample data set uh, covering uh, libya so it's under my github account so you can see this data set here all we need is just to call this function add hook layer and that's it and passing the layer name and so m to add inspector is to show this inspector vector automatically you can also click this button uh, it's the same this uh, inspector here and once you open this one, then you can select the data layer you want. In this case, we only have one data layer. So it's the Libya, right? And then you can zoom in, you can see the details uh, in here. This is where you can start getting uh, inspect the pixel values. So all you need to do is just to click your mouse on the map and it's going to query the pixel values. Uh, it might take some time because this is a cloud optimized GeoTIFF in the cloud uh, hosted on GitHub. So you can see now we're getting the pixel values uh, for the three bands. RGB you can click somewhere else and you can continue to click any way you like so this allows you to create the pixel interactively if you zoom out uh, all the points will be cluster as a basically a cluster so collapse is a cluster and continue to add and if you have more than three spectral bands you can also check this one to get the visible bands only because we only have three bands so it is the same but if you have the lens set data or other images that has more than three bands Sometimes you might just want to show the three pixels. Uh, that's fine as well. So this is one way. The second uh, functionality is that allows you to actually create training data. So here there's a class label. So for example, if I'm trying to do uh, image classification, I want to seg segment this into, for example, buildings and also water. So I can come here. I can set, for example, a water. And you click on the mouse. Uh, your mouse on the map, it will start collecting uh, this training data so it's going to get all the pixel values along with the, the label so this is one and then we can move into for example buildings and continue to click so i'm going to select a couple points of course you might need to be more careful when you need to zoom in and to see the detail this is just a simple demo so once i have these points you can click this one here download so if you download this click this one it's going to show you the link here then you can download this one to a computer so I'm going to download to my downloads directory and then you can open it. So this is a file uh, as a CSV file. So you can just open it using Excel and take a look. So now we have these three spectral bands, B1, B2, B3. You also have the coordinates. So the longitude and latitude and the last one is the label. So this allows you to uh, create training data interactively and then save the result. And then you can simply pass this table uh, to machine learning algorithms or deep learning if you want to. So this is a super easy way to uh, query pixel values and also save the result. After that, you can just click the 
reset button, you can remove all the points, and then you can close it. So the first example is using cloud optimized UTF. The second one here is using a uh, spatial temporal asset catalog. So it's under the hood is still a cloud optimized UTF, but it allows you to add um, a link to a JSON file. And so this is a asset as a item and it has multi-spectral bands. So in this case it has um, RGB and also near infrared and also the panchromatic band. And similarly, we are adding the inspector here. And again, you can select the pixel uh, layer. So you can do the same thing even to click the labels. Otherwise you can just click your mouse on the map. So it's going to see here, right? We have uh, five bands in here, panchromatic and also the multi-spectral band, four bands in here and click your mouse. If you want just um, the visible band, for example, in this case it's um, B4, uh, 1 and 2, uh, B3, B2 and B1. So I can just click, click this box and you, if you click again, you only get just the three bands. So B3, B2, B1 uh, is showing here the bands, right? So this allows you to query uh, uh, st uh, stack items. Next one, uh, plain to computer. So this is very much similar to the add stack layer. So this one use the egg uh, stack layer, but because uh, the plaintiff to computer use a different way. So you need to specify the uh, image collection and also the image item. And lastly is the asset. The asset is basically uh, the spectral bands you want to visualize. So here we are using B7, 5 and 4 to visualize the, uh, this is particular lens set image. And then you can give a name and similarly we get inspector. So the interface is very much similar. I can click it here. Right. You, this is a long list of uh, bands, right? We have more than uh, 10. You can click on the query the pixel value from the Earth engine, uh, uh, Microsoft, Microsoft printed to a computer. If you just want the three spectral bands visible, you can just click this one. You will only get the three uh, spectral bands. So very much similar. I can do again, right? I can say uh, forest, for example, or vegetation. Easy, right and then you can click your mouse on the map it's going to get all the pixel values you can be here you're going to get just the rgb or you can get um all the spectral bands so it's getting stuck let me restart the kernel so it, you can follow the same thing um just to query the pixel values so that's for the planetary computer and the last one i want to show you uh, is the local raster data set so I'm going to use this one to download a sample data set from my GitHub account. And then we can use the add raster. So the add raster allows you to add data set store locally. So this one built on top of local type server. So you're going to see the, uh, the five paths and also indices, uh, what the bank combination, right? So B4, so this is a full bank imagery, RGB and also near infrared. So this is first color composite. You can specify the minimum, maximum value, give a layer name, and then add inspector. Keep in mind, you can also use the add raster function to add data directly using this one. So you don't actually have to download it. You can just use this URL, uh, it should work as well. Um, the only difference is right now the data is in the cloud. So if you're trying to retrieve the data, uh, sometimes it might take a couple of seconds. So once you add the data layer, again, you can select here and you just start clicking your mouse on the map. This is very quick. So you pay attention here, different from the examples. I showed you earlier, this one is like very, very quick because the data is stored locally and I can get just RGB only and do that as well, right? As I mentioned earlier, you can just directly use the URL so I can pass the URL pointing to this data set on the um, GitHub and it should work as well. But it might be a little bit slower because it's pulling the ties directly from the cloud. And now I can also click it's pretty quick, so it's uh, very responsive. It's nice. Besides uh, visualizing data that's uh, locally or in the cloud, you can also visualize in memory raster. So what this one is doing, we are using raster IO. We're reading uh, the near infrared band and also the red band. And then we calculate the NDVI, okay? Uh, no normalize difference base station index. And then you can convert this one to an image. Okay, so we don't save the result um, the, to a, directly to a hard drive. It's just an in-memory raster. And then we use the source because when you try to visualize, you need to have geo-reference information. So basically, we are creating an NDVI image in the memory. 
node in your hard drive. Once you have this, then you can visualize these two data layers. So this one uh, is the one stored locally, and this one is in the memory. And then we use the uh, green color map to visualize that. So take a look, right? So once you uh, run this code block, you should be able to see the original imagery, but also the NDVI. And if you want, you can turn the layer on and off. Click this one, you can turn this layer. You can also change the opacity. See this. And now you can inspect, for example, the NDVI or also the, uh, the uh, lane 6, 7. So we can click this NDVI, then start clicking your mouse on the map, right? So if you click the dark green area, it should be positive vegetation area. If you click this one here, this is water, so it's a negative, right? So this makes it easy for you to visualize uh, pixel values interactively. Additionally, other open source packages can also query pixel values, but you have to figure out the coordinates, uh, longitude, latitude, um, and then you might need to do some coding in order to do that. Now this is an interactive way that you can do that uh, very, very easily. Again, you can also assign the label and then also download the data. Uh, Okay, so this is all I want to show you. I hope you find it uh, useful. And now you have an easy way to visualize pretty much any raster data set within a Jupyter environment using leaf map. And you can also save the uh, pixel values. You can use that for machine learning. Okay, so that's all for today. I will uh, hope to see you in the next uh, video. Take care. Bye-bye.